So I demonstrate a video of ozone major autoimmunotherapy for avascular necrosis of the femoral head. The Prakash formula includes Mukherjee regime, ozone MHT, beta 6 blocks, and intra-articular ozone injections. Ozone major autoimmunotherapy for post-COVID picard stage 2 or 3 produces dramatic results and the video demonstrates BOSI's original method of normal barrack diffused MHT. Though here it is demonstrated for a hip avian, ozone MHT has plethora of uses, lot of very, very important uses. We need a medical oxygen cylinder, a calibrated medical ozone machine capable of producing 70 micrograms per ml of ozone, a flint free borosilicate vacuotainer bottle with inbuilt filter, one ordinary saline set, any company zip set can be used, one latex free blood transfusion set which has to be latex free, we need a 2 cc syringe and heparin to inject in the bottle to prevent coagulation. Most important step is counseling the patient, explaining about the procedure, telling him what has to be done, what is offered, do a thorough examination, take a written consent and even a video consent. The first step is inject one cc of heparin into the special vacutainer bottle. Here you can see I have taken one cc of heparin and the same is being injected into the special bottle. The bottle has three distinct markings, one for heparin injection and air venting, one for injecting ozone and one for injecting for transfusing the blood. A good vein is located and 18 gauge unfound is inserted and it is checked that the blood flow is free. It is desirable to use a tourniquet to allow a free blood flow. This procedure is rather sim as simple or the same as uh, collecting a donor blood for blood transfusion. We can see the blood flow has started out nicely. The normal saline set is now connected to the venflon and the flow valve is closed as the opposite end is inserted into the vacutainer bottle. The fill chamber usually compresses because of the vacuum in the bottom. The video will clearly show you how this happens. We have connected a normal saline set and we have we are now pushing it into a vacutainer bottle. And the moment it enters the vacutainer bottle, you can see that the uh, chamber, fill chamber, suddenly collapses. The instant we open the knob for blood, blood will gush into the bottle. And we wait until 50 ml of blood is collected in the bottle. In our formula, it is 50 ml of blood mixed with 50 ml of ozone of 70 microgram per ml concentration. Once the ventron is correctly positioned, the blood rises up against the gravity and gradually starts filling the bottle. If the ventron is not correctly positioned or the top vent is open, some air bubbles might enter, but at this stage it is not relevant because only when we are retransfusing, we must ensure that there are no air bubbles. With a normal vent plan, with the vacuity and bottle, it takes about five minutes to get 50 cc of blood. Once 50 cc of blood is reached, the drip set is disconnected and the last drop of blood is drained into the bottle. 
Vacutin and caps have special plus symbol where the filter is connected and the ozone has to be injected through this. We take 50 cc syringe which is latex free and ozone compatible. We adjust the regulation to produce 50 cc of 70 microgram percent concentration of ozone. The patient is looking curiously at the ozone being drawn. Now the ozone is bubbled and the blood gets ozone ozonated and the dark venous blood turns to cherry red. You must see the bubbles are small by using a small needle and a special diffuser so that I have turned the bottle around to see that you can see how the blood, so how the ozone is being diffused into the blood. They are small bubbles and in moments you have seen how the blood becomes cherry red. A latex free ozone compatible blood transfusion set is now inserted into the bottle which contains the ozonated blood and blood is allowed to flow until all air exits from the set and then this is connected to the inlet of the ventilon. So once you connect the set, you ensure that all the air goes out and once the air goes out, the ozonated blood is allowed to be transfused to the same ventilon at 40 to 50 drops per minute. This ensures that you do not repuncture or use another uh, ventilon for puncturing the patient. 50 ml of ozonated blood takes about 20 to 30 minutes to be transfused completely at the speed of 30 to 40 drops per minute. And we can check the patient's pulse oxygen and other parameters while this is being done. Next step in this video is showing the mixing of the cocktail for the pain portal block and bilateral hip beta 6 blocks. As the patient has crossed 3 months or 4 months after his uh, diagnosis, it is now safe to bear weight as the head will not collapse anymore. Beta 6 is an inguinal crease and it is about 2 cm lateral to the femoral neurovascular bundle. A 22 gauge needle is used to extract the drugs. But special long 24 G needles used to give beta 6 and also intra articular ozone. So we first get into the beta 6 level with 24 G needle, and after injecting the portals, we push the needle into the joint. We must not remove the syringe but leave the needle inside too, so that multiple punctures into the hip joint is avoided and the ozone enters a contained space where it can be absorbed by the articular cartilage. Here we can see that we are injecting about 5 ml of the cocktail and then the needle is put in and then goes to the joint, left in the joint. Similarly, on the opposite side too, we are putting it in, giving the cocktail and then putting the needle in the intra-articular area. As the cocktail contains anesthetic. The pushing into the joint may not cause any pain. And here we have given 5 cc into one hip and 5 cc into the other hip. So during MAST sessions, intra articular ozone is also given to the hip joint with the belief that this oxygen ozone might be absorbed by the articular cartilage and help to revascularize the head, by which time. The 20 to 30 minutes needed for the infusion would have been completed. Whatever little nagging pain the patient has at this stage will disappear after this therapy. Mukherjee regime is continued for 18 to 20 months. Major autohemotherapy is repeated every six weeks for four to five sessions. This combination really has helped a lot of patients and we need to ensure that we tell the patient the principles and philosophy of the treatment. Once the blood ends, we detach it from the bottle and allow the last drop to be transfused. 
This method avoids surgery, expensive biologicals, and often delays hip replacement by many decades or rather indefinitely. We can once again see how we are doing it while the blood is almost getting in. We have disconnected the wire. This is the patient immediately after a session of therapy who had come in limping. He had traveled a long distance from Gwalior to meet me in Chennai. So in Palakkad and there he is squatting immediately after therapy, pain-free. To learn more about the methodology or procure tested and certified machines, you can WhatsApp me at the above number. This lecture or video is only for qualified surgeons and medical practitioners and teaches about ozone, ozone major autonomy therapy for post-COVID PCAT stage 2-3 of both knees, both hips, with a formula of Mukherjee regime, MHT, beta 6 blocks, and intra-articular ozone. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.